Now that we have properly discussed and went over the ability to effectively make a schedule to have better time management in the workplace, we will now proceed in having examples that will most likely happen while you are working. If you look underneath your seats, there, you will know the handout that is provided for everyone. Please let me know if anyone does not have a handout. Does any, everyone have a handout? Great, so let's continue. You will now begin to go over examples that were provided for you and determine whether these examples have proper time management or poor time management. Make sure when you are going over these examples to be sure to write down the details on why these examples have proper time management or not. If there is an example that has poor time, time management, describe the reason why it is poor time management. And when there's proper time management being used, please describe uh, why it is proper time management as well. I provide a brief example which can clear up any confusion. So let's do this one together. There is an employee named Mark. He is working in the office and knows he has a meeting to attend in five minutes. Mark knows he has a, to get his notes ready for the meeting and have his segment ready to present, but it is not always finished. He also has to enter his coworkers' meetings times for the week by the end of the workday. Based on Mark's current situation, did he show proper time management or poor time management? Does anyone have the answer? Good. Mark does, does show poor time management in this situation. Can someone else answer me why? Perfect. Mark not having the, his segment ready with, in five, with only five minutes until the meeting starts shows poor time management, and he needs to give himself more time to be ready for the meeting as well. Are there any questions? Now that I've given you an example to the same, do the same thing with your handout that was given to you, and we will reconvene with everyone to finish. Thank you.